Hello everyone. Uh, there's a saying that Hausa people have, right? And it, it goes like this. It said, Hasada gemeirobotaki. Let me, I'm looking for a way to literally translate it. It means jealousy to one, to some, uh, to someone who has, should I say grace or someone who has luck that is like fertilizer. You know, hasada, hasada means jealousy. So when you are hating on somebody, person, the person will be say on his own. Oh, no. If the person has grace or luck or something like that, you are hating on that person. You are jealous of that person. You are doing all sorts of things, you know, to bring that person down. Then all of that thing that you're doing will be like fertilizer for the person and the person will be growing. That's the only way I can tell you to explain this, uh, Mr. Peter, of this issue in the recent time. You know, Mr. Peter Obi has, going, uh, has been going around, the, especially the northern part of the country, doing boreholes. So during this fasting, he decided he was going to do something. Initially, it was even actually food. They were thinking of, you know, just like food items with the Ramadan and everything to help people out. Then at the end of the day, he decided to do, you know, bore, to just do projects that can be enjoyed by uh, quite a number of people. And even myself. In the last few years, one of the things I've come to the conclusion is that all of these things that you're giving individuals money to do this, these people, they end up not growing. In short, me, my own personal experience, I know you, you will be there paying somebody's uh, children's school fees. The person will go and be marrying more wives. You give somebody money that is supposed to use either add to your, their business or grow so that they can be helping themselves, help others. The next thing they'll go and get married and do all, of, all, all sorts of things. So even myself, I've always made my, my mind that everything that has to be done is better you do a project for the community that everyone, you know, can enjoy. So anyway, so Mr. Peter Obi has been going around doing this, uh, doing the boreholes, you know, just putting something down that people can use, make sure that the money stretches and reaches a lot of people. So in the last few days, not maybe like say three or four days, there has been this coordinated attack. So you know on social media when there's an attack, you see the, 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 they'll be talking about the same thing, sometimes even the same language. You know they have what they call farm troll farms, people that they use that attack people, they're always insulting people and, and doing all of that. So they'll give them what they will use to do for all the attacks. So they've been doing that. And of course, all sorts of things. So guess what? Ah, trust obedient. Those of those ah no 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 obedient movement. There is something else. Those you there, hey coconut head. They the next thing they just started trending. Thank you, Mr. Peter B. Thank you, Mr. Peter B. Has been trending on Twitter for over twenty four hours. I didn't go into forty eight hours now. I was just go. I was just look at some of the tweets, you know, and just read them out. This one, Abu Amir. Okay, before I even go, there was one thing that is actually coming out, and I think a lot of them are actually getting this whole thing that Mr. Peter Obi has been doing, visiting the north, just putting the small, small things, small talking, a bubble here, bubble there, where it's really needed the most. It's there has been sort of like an appreciation of him. And you see, there was one that even came to say one thing. The next thing, a lot of people, they were telling him, oh, yeah, he has done well, he has done this one. Uh, people are suffering. What about the northern politicians that haven't done anything for these people and stuff like that? Buhari was there. What did you know? All, sorts, all, all of those things. But let me look at this one. Abu Amir, he said, they are unleashing coordinated attacks on Peter Obi for a reason. What Peter B is currently doing in the corner is a threat to them before their eyes. PO is breaking the chains they are using to enslave the masses. That is what they are fighting against. They say, thank you, Peter B. Uh, so somebody, this one, say once again for making this issue a trending topic. Thank you, uh, Mr. Peter B. Because what now happened was that uh, it's, it, there's this uh, handle that brings out statistics. It's called Stat 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 Sense. It says lack of access to safe drinking water, 2022, percentage of population, uh, north central, 35.7%, northeast, 34.4%, northwest, 31.4%, south south, 31.2%. South south should be ashamed of itself, honestly, with the money that that region collects, a lot of money. See, see, see where they are. Southwest 23.2%, and then Southeast is the one with the lowest 17.4, you know, uh, percent. So, 
and then so it's been trendy so you see different they even have some this thing that they've done uh this uh what do you call this thing ai generated uh, uh images honestly it's so so really so funny i'm just trying to 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 the, to, to save some of them to share here uh, uh, uh with us and uh, so i'm just trying to okay so this one say cervix say there's a handle cut uh cervix he said these boreholes erected by peter will be in several communities in the north really rattled the criminal politicians all the criticism you see both online and offline is heavily sponsored look no further their latest activated porn is he mentioned the name i'm not going to mention that here anyways uh so someone says Okay, there's this guy that is always, 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 always attacking, you know, Peter Obi. And then he says, setting banter aside, Peter Obi's tour of these small northern villages and his provision of drinking water surpasses the effort of many northern politicians who, despite being aware of the water scarcity issue, have failed to take actions for years. Whether we acknowledge it or not, Peter Obi is gaining more support through this borehole project and our northern politicians should bury their heads in shame. So that, that's this one. of the, Then this one. Okay, so there was another guy that I told you earlier that had come to attack Peter Obi. So this is a different thing that people were now saying. This one said, Audio Ubasani, which is the governor of Kaduna State, refused to provide water for them. And don't forget, water is life. I don't like Peter Obi, but kudos to him, according to this person called Skinny Fulani. Another one said, Peter Obi, may Almighty Allah bless you for this kind gesture. You came at a time when the elites in Zaria failed. Then this other one, Shams, that's Relwani. Then Shams Sudin said, It was a commendable gesture that deeply affected the less. Uh, fortunate regardless of any political motivation the community's need for water was essential for their livelihood then abdullah haruna said we have opportunities as leaders without the sympathy of the people at that and if if you initiate anything beneficial to the people the masses will be set against the zaria water project got a lot of millions but with no water in zaria and uh, environ so before you know what's happening Ah, uh, so somebody said, okay, this one was talking about whenever the unrepented critics in Arewa condemn Peter Obi's borehole project, simply watch these videos to recall the impact this gesture has made. These are the individuals who truly matter, and their spirits are praying for us. So, and then they go on, you just see, thank you, uh, Mr. Peter Obi, thank you, Peter Obi, thank you, thank you, Peter Obi has been trending for a long time. So this one said, uh, um, okay, Alakowe, he said, as a Yoruba man, this is an appreciation tweet to His Excellency Peter Obi for all he has done for Nigeria and Nigerians. Thank you, uh, Peter Obi, for loving us unconditionally, opening our eyes to many political realities in Nigeria and reshaping the political structure in the country. So it just goes on and on and on and on. Thank you, Peter Obi. Thank you, Peter Obi. Thank you, Peter Obi. That's what is uh, actually uh, uh, trending. And I see this uh, particular picture here that someone did. It's it's really been on. And you know, just just just. I mean that. So th that really just talks about the fact that you know when they say hasada, hasada gami robotaki. That's just this. If you like hate hate on him, be jealous of him, try to plot his downfall, whatever, whatever, it will turn to fertilizer for him. Peter B is the one I, since the election, since 2022. I don't think there's anybody that has I, I, there's not that has trended as much as Peter B in Nigerian poll, uh, uh, Twitter space, social media, and all that. Um, I don't know whether they say did that Peter B does not trend on one thing or the other that that, that he has done, and that really scares them. It, it scares them a lot. If he, when he came with not no really support base, he just came when many people thought he couldn't do it, and he did what he did. He won that twenty twenty three election. Then imagine what it is now that people are getting to know him more, 
believe this can be done and be more motivated. So that those are part of the things that scare them anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.